In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how the Google Shadow software works. This video assumes you already have the campaign tracking, the keyword variable list, and your preferences set up. Those three topics are covered in separate videos that are located in the video section. All right, to get started, the first thing you need to do is pop in your affiliate links here in the URL section. Go ahead and click the Go button, and you'll see on the right-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video because I'll get distracted. See on the right-hand side that your merchant uh, merchant web page is populated here, and the display URL is populated here. So the first thing I like to do is capitalize my display URL. Capitalize the V and Violin, the M and Master, and the P and Pro here. And if you look at the headline, you'll notice that the Violin Master Pro is now appropriately spaced, and the ad group name is, is appropriately spaced as well. If in your preferences you selected auto keywords, you'll see that the uh, keyword list has generated the keyword variables based on the headline here. This is a separate video, like I said, regarding the keyword variable setup. Go ahead and check that out if you don't understand how this works. So now I have my keywords, I have my headline, I have my display URL, and I have my destination URL. Now I just need to add some ad text. Go ahead and copy what's already on the person's web page here. All right, something short and sweet there. All right, so I've got everything I need except for my campaign tracking. I'm going to go ahead and select my ClickBank account because this is a ClickBank ad. And I'll click Save. So you'll see that it's saved in Google AdWords format, Microsoft Ad Center format, and Yahoo format. All right, my next, my next affiliate link is populated over here. So again, you see the merchant page. Over here, you see the display URL. And I'm going to go ahead and start in the same place. Kevin is the J and jump, the M in manual. And I'm going to add the ad text. All right. So uh, one of the things we covered in the keyword setup and the uh, tracking setup, rather, is the uh, is the actual tracking for your individual keywords. So I'm going to show you this real quick here. You can view the tracking for your particular ad group uh, on the fly here. So if you're familiar with ClickBank, you'll know that you'll notice that it says question mark TID equals, which is the sub ID code for ClickBank. And over here is the the keyword tracking information that I set up. Google Shadow will automatically add a digit here sequentially for each keyword counting up. So for the first keyword it'll be G1K1, G1K2 for the second, and so on, and as well as Y1K1, Y1K2, and M1K1, K and M1K2. Uh, for each keyword you'll have a different uh, final number there. One of the other features of Google Shadow is the ability to reuse the same affiliate link to create a secondary ad for it. If you look down here for the first ad we save for Violin Master Pro, you'll see the dash one. I'm going to go ahead and click reuse here instead of save so I can reuse the same affiliate URL for this jumpmanual.com. My jumpmanual dash one is the first ad group I save for jumpmanual. Again, you'll see AdWords, MSN, and Yahoo all saved there. Now let's say I wanted to change the headline here and ask also which would modify the keywords. So I'm going to change this to the jumpmanual. And if you watch the keywords when I click out of here, my keywords have now changed to the jump manual, the, jump, the space jump manual, etc. All right, if I look at my view tracking, you'll see here that now it's G2 instead of G1. So this tells me it's the second ad group I created for jump manual, Y2K, M2K, etc. So once I click save, I'm out of affiliate URLs, so it's going to give me a little message over here. It says, please enter more URLs. But you'll see down here that it's saved jump manual too. So we've created three ads, three ad groups for two different merchants and I've walked you through it slowly and it's taken us about oh, four minutes to go through this whole video. I'm going to show you in another video how you can quickly go through affiliate links to create uh, easily 50 to 100 ads an hour, ad groups an hour. And that's just for each search engine, that's not cumulative. So it's closer to 150 to 300 ad groups if you count all three search engines. So go ahead and check that video out next and we look forward to working with you.